Hello everybody, my name is Sirius and today I'm going to be challenging myself to build a Minecraft house in the nether out of only the new nether blocks. Let's go. I think a great spot to build it would be right here in the warped forest. It is honestly my favorite new biome. It looks beautiful. And so we're just going to start right here. So this is what I have so far. I have decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the little different themes. So like this it, biome is its own little theme. This is its own little theme. The black stones, its own little theme. And so I've decided to start with the black stone and the gilded black stone adds such a cool effect and it looks awesome because this is all black it's hard to see the depth that is added into it with the stairs and the walls and such but it does look cool and we will slowly just progress this way with the different themes of the biomes so i've gone ahead and made kind of a base because without it my brain was getting confused i had no idea where i was going i was trying to add on to this but i could never seem to get it right because i had no direction so i just kind of laid out a little base area i may expand i may not expand i i'm just giving myself something to work with so like right here we're gonna have the warped forest type themed one then right here the crimson forest area the basalts type area right here and so it's just gonna kind of flow and i'm gonna try my best to have them mix into each other a bit so basically this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just randomly, I have no thought process as I do this. I just randomly mix in the blocks. And if I like see, maybe it doesn't, maybe that doesn't need to go there. And then I'll mix that in with that. Basically my goal right here is just to mix and match it as much as possible. I'm trying to keep it to where I don't have too many of the same block all on top of each other. But I also would like for it to look good you know I don't want it to look bad and so right here what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna throw in these trap doors of the crimson uh, what you call it so I don't actually know what you call it and so ooh, they don't look that good as shutters but I think I will keep them I'll, I'll leave them there just just for the aesthetic and we're also gonna throw in white window panes because I think it looks classy <laughs> and you just throw in a couple of stairs with it and it adds a little bit of depth it's just that extra bit that you need honestly and it brings it all together and we can put in our door and we'll actually put in the crimson door right now this is not I I don't know I'm not sure it's kind of hard to mix and match them all um, especially with the wood variants not wanting to turn the way I want them to sometimes but I think it looks cool especially if you look back and you just kind of you just kind of shake a little bit yeah it looks awesome I was looking back at it and I I think it needs it needs more warp wh uh, warp what yeah warped block warp wait warped warp 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 <laughs> oh I I promise I'm trying warped wart block thank you there we go warped sorry <laughs> warped wart block there you go that's a tongue twister honestly you try saying that three times fast in my point exactly <laughs> i will say this the warped trap doors definitely look better the design inside of them is just so cool it's like it's almost like a fire like it looks like the curvature of a fire maybe but i have now completed the front of the crimson side and kind of had it mix and match again with the warped wart blocks <laughs> and uh now i'm gonna continue with the basalt area i nearly forgot um that there are actually buttons they're crimson and warped buttons so I've gone ahead and thrown a couple of them in. I'm still continuing to add them just <laughs> randomly around. It just adds another little detail to it. I have also took it upon myself to add to the basalt side because they technically only has polished basalt and basalt. I'm also going to be including the lodestone, the target, I might go easy on the target because it is way different from the other colors with that red thrown in there. 
I'm also going to be adding a, the block of netherite into this mix because it is pretty close to their color and the quartz block because it's on the lighter spectrum of things. Um, the new quartz block, it's not, it's, it's, um, it's called quartz bricks. That's also a new block they've added in. So with these blocks, I'm just going to continue on this side, just mixing it all up and such. I definitely feel that this section of the house is going to be the most challenging because these blocks are the most different from each other. Yes, the others are different, but they all have a basic theme going with them. These, um, I guess gray is the theme, but that's, you, you know, <laughs> ooh, look what I just found. I did not realize they added a chain and now the entire front of the house is complete. You know, it's, it's a little bit of an odd, um, house design, you know, but it's interesting. And I think that's the main part. I also still have to work on the roof and I, I have no idea what I'm going to do for that part. And I also haven't done the back like whatsoever, but we're just, we're going to keep on working on it. I have now completed all of the exterior walls and I'm going to continue now with the flooring. I thought it would be cool to do the flooring out of the new nether gold ore the ancient debris which is i believe the new rarest block in the game i'm also going to be using the crying obsidian i'm going to throw in a little bit of regular obsidian i'm also going to be using the cracked nether bricks and chiseled nether bricks these are all new blocks again imagine being this rich <laughs> in 1.16 to where you can actually just lay the ancient debris as your flooring i guess i should also add in the nylium because it also looks really cool. And now we have our very, very bizarre floor pattern. I'm trying to make all the new nether blocks into one big house and make it look the best I can <laughs> without it being too much in straight lines. I have now gone ahead and finished up. I just went ahead and finished up the entire house. So... I realized that we had a couple of new plants that I decided I was going to go add out into the front. And I also, just to make sure we used all of the new blocks, I made this little fenced in area for a couple of striders that are the homies right there. And I um, also added in some of the new soul soil right there. And if we take a step into the house, but before we do, we got to hit this. Okay, now if we walk in here, ooh, <laughs> uh, we have a couple of decorations. So I'm going to start from the left and I'll move over my way to the right. Over here, we got a couple of potted plants. I added in all of the new gear or tools onto the walls as just a decoration because we're rich and we can just hang those things up as we please. Furnaces, we got a campfire in the corner. A cool little mushroom right here. We have two armor stands right here. And um, <laughs> I didn't realize, but this guy is missing his pants. But, you know, that's okay because he's also missing his shoes. <laughs> um, again, more tools, a hoe. And then this is actually the new fishing rod with a um it's a a warped fungus on a stick that's what it is again more potted plants just for decoration we got hanging lights around here yes that is a new thing with the chains i think it looks awesome like this actually um the blue torches on the walls like that and we got the bed over here i added in this new block which i also forgot shroom light 
This is called Shroom Light, okay? And I think this section is my favorite just because of that gilded blackstone just gives it such a cool effect to it. I really love it. If you check in the chest right here, we have tons of stacks of netherite ingots because again, we're we're filthy rich. I mean, we built part of our house out of netherite blocks we also have our respawn anchor right here and it looks super cool it is on full charge right now and i i love that addition to the game and that is a house built out of all of the new nether update blocks i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys later peace